Welcome to Mass Minutes with Melissa. This week we are in the third week of Ordinary Time. We saw that Jesus got baptized a few weeks ago, and that is the start of his adult ministry of bringing the gospel of the Lord to all of us on earth. This week we're going to hear about how he brings his, some of his disciples along with him. This comes from Mark chapter 1, verses 14 through 20. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. They abandoned their nets and followed them. He walked on a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called to them. So they left their father in the boat, along with a hired man, and followed him. It says that Simon and Andrew abandoned their boat and their nets and everything else that they had in it. Now, when your parents go to work, do they take a suitcase of clothes, um, maybe something to read, um, all their favorite hobbies, their things that they love from their house? No. So these men were out doing their job with just the clothes on their back and Jesus comes along and says, come, follow me. This is the fulfillment of the kingdom is now. And they followed him. They abandoned everything to follow Jesus and to help to spread his message. That is pretty amazing. That has, those men were very trusting to do that. I always wonder if I would have the courage to do what they did to leave my entire family and all the comforts of the things that I own and love to follow Jesus. Well, in a way, Jesus is really asking us to do that. He asks us through the Eucharist and when we're praying and when we're at mass to follow him. How do we follow Jesus? We follow him by praying, by sharing his story with others by being kind to our little sister or brother, by feeding the, the poor and the hungry, by supporting those who are sick. We can do all of those things to follow Jesus. So this week, I want you to be thinking, in what way can you be a better follower of Jesus? What is the way that Jesus is calling you to follow him and you haven't started doing that? What are those ways? And then I want you to have the courage to start following Jesus in that way. God bless and have a great week ahead.